Stop studying so much. That's right, stop. If you are on a path of just complete burnout, where you have been studying every day and you just can't seem to keep up, you can't seem to get ahead, it's time to change that. And in this video, I'm going to show you one thing you can do that will drastically change the way you study. This is going to change everything. And this is something that I sometimes do. I don't always do it because it does involve some pressure. Um, so it's gonna make you feel a little bit pressured when you study, but it does actually work. And after you go through your study session, you're gonna come out feeling like you've learned a lot more, okay? So it does actually work. So what is it? What do you have to do in order to stop studying and actually get better at math? Well, the trick is you're still going to have to study a little bit, right? You're just going to be studying a lot less. The trick is to manage your time. That's right, time management. Time management is huge. I always compare time management to money management. For any of you people out there who are traders, one of the secrets of succeeding in the trading game is money management, right? Many people think money management is more important than anything in trading. In studying, it's very, very similar. It's all about time management. The goal is to learn as much as possible in as little time as possible. Right, your time is valuable, right? You have 24 hours in a day, you have to eat, you have to sleep, you have to do math, maybe you have to go to work, maybe you have a family and a significant other. So life is hard, and so managing your time is gonna make your life better. Okay, so here's how you do it. First thing you want to do is pick a subject to focus on. So for the purposes of this video, I've picked a really nice book here. This is Elementary Linear Algebra by Howard Anton. I think this is a really great book because it has problems that are very standard. What I mean by that is if you're taking linear algebra and you're not using this book, you should buy this book. You can get a used copy on the internet online for probably a few dollars. Just go on like bookfinder.com and type in Anton, look for linear algebra, and you should be able to find a copy. I'll try to leave a link in the description too, if I remember. Anyways, so let's pretend you're focusing on linear algebra. So step one is to get a book that has problems that are widely used. So for example, for linear algebra, the Anton book has problems that are very popular. These are problems that you might even see on an exam. In fact, that's how I often got A's on exams. I would study from other books, and then when I took the test, I would see problems from those other books on the tests because I would pick the right books. So picking a book like this, I think, is a good choice. Okay, the next thing you want to do is the following. The second thing you should do is try to find a quiet, distraction-free zone where you can begin your focused studying. This is super important. Now, if you can't find one, that's okay. Just make do with what you have. It's better to make do with a semi-noisy area than not, than not try at all, right? So you wanna have a quiet area if possible, and if not possible, that's okay, right? Just pick a location and go for it. The third thing is absolutely the most important thing. It's to time your study sessions. Now, it's not necessary to have a timer like this, but this one is really nice. Just get a little timer that's simple to use. All you do with this one is you turn it, and then it starts. That's it, it's super easy. And then when it hits to, gets to the end, <laughs> I love that. That's it, right? Super useful. You can use this for other stuff too. If you're doing laundry and you're putting it on a timer, you can use something like this as well. So great for studying. So this only has, this one only goes to an hour, which is perfect, right? It's perfect. You might say an hour is not enough. It might not be, but it's a starting point. If you get into the habit of spending an hour a day, just 60 minutes working on some math or reading a math book or doing problems from a book that has problems that you'll probably see on your test, that's the secret, right? That is the way to do it. Timing your sessions has incredible benefits. For one, it gets you really to focus because you know you only have an hour. Now, if you don't have a timer and say you want to study from three to four, that also works, but having just an inexpensive timer like this, 
I mean, you do this. Once you set the time, you know it's on, right? No checking emails, no checking your phone, no watching math videos. It's just you, the pencil, the paper, and your math problems, right? And you just do as many problems as you can in that one hour. Then when the time runs out, if you're still stuck on a problem, finish it up. And if you wanna keep studying, that's okay. But I have found, at least in my personal experience, once the timer stops, if you use this method, you're going to spend, I don't know, it's just not the same, right? Once you get into the habit of using a timer like this for your study sessions, I really, really think it's gonna make a big difference in your productivity. Another thing that timing your sessions does is it really frees up a lot of time for the rest of your day. You might be spending four, five, six hours right now a day studying, but how productive are your study sessions, right? That's really what a timer does. It kind of makes you hyper-focused because you only have a certain amount of time, and so you can really, really study. Now, most phones have timers, right? My phone has a timer. I'm pretty sure every phone in the world has a timer, but this is better than a phone because you're not gonna be checking your text messages. You're not gonna be reading your notifications, right? This disconnects you from the internet and keeps you with your, with your book, with your pencil, with your paper, and then you do have a really nice electronic device like this one. It really is about studying the right way. So stop studying so much and start studying the right way. Pick a quiet location, pick a book, that's got good problems that you're likely to see on your exams and get a little timer on the internet so you can time your sessions so you can really just hyper-focus. Try it. I bet it's going to help you a lot. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck and take care.